Hello! I'm gonna tell you a story. So all the way through high school, all the way through college, and even up until recently, I've had a laundry list of reasons why I could never identify as a conservative. Aside from the whole fact that I find the whole political party thing completely bullshit in the first place, uh, there were a myriad of reasons like abortion rights and uh, gay marriage and, uh, you know, s simple shit like that that I just, I don't, I just disagree with the base uh, opinion of that particular group of people. But one of the biggest reasons was always the fact that I had always seen conservatives as anti-science. The idea that a, a clump of cells equals a human being. The idea that global warming can't be happening because it's snowing. There's so much scientific ignorance in the mainstream portrayal, at least, of conservative uh, people. And I had always had it in my mind that that was, that because conservatives were so anti-science most of the time, that meant liberals must be pro-science. And for the longest time, in my life anyway, that happened to be true. But now we're finally at the point where conservatives and liberals are both completely united on a plane of ignorance on the basis of scientific knowledge. And as somebody who doesn't give a shit about political labels, I could not be happier. So Comedy Central has this show called The Nightly Show, and if you don't know what The Nightly Show is, <laughs> neither do I. But it's basically a liberal uh, comedy news show. Very similar to The Colbert Report and The Daily Show, and if you're looking for a conservative equivalent, um, it's unintentional, but everything that uh, Sean Hannity says, ah! So it's basically that. So anyway, these guys had uh, Bill Nye the Science Guy on their show to talk about the recent discovery, uh, or recent at the time, this is kind of an old video, of water on Mars. And just to show you how anti-science this whole thing gets, I'm gonna show you a quick assortment of clips. Uh, so just brace yourselves for an influx of brain damage. Should we give a about water on Mars. <laughs> yeah! It's not just that there was water, there is every year, every Martian year. I would love Where to get Where are we going free. with it? I, I have no space. idea what you just said. Uh, Where did we all come from? Okay, so now I ask you, do you give a about all that? No. <laughs> yes, you do. Think? That's what I'm talking about. about. They're so dismissive of everything he says, and it's embarrassing. And it's not like the right. Like, the right will talk down to science, like, in a, like, oh, I'm so morally superior to you kind of way. But the left does it in this snarky, condescending, oh, pff, who cares, dude? Pff, who, pff, science? Pff, intelligence? Pff, technology? Who cares about that, man? I just want to know when the next Kanye album's hitting you, dick. And it sucks because I, as a kid, I grew up loving science and, and loving technology and, and just really appreciating just how much intelligence and just how much hard work goes into making the things that we take for granted every day. That shit fascinates me to this day. And this interest in science wasn't always cool. This is a recent thing. When I was a kid, it was super fucking lame. But now with Neil deGrasse Tyson and with Cosmos and with and with Bill Nye the Science Guy coming out into the mainstream again, it's it's become this cool thing. And it sucks to see liberals do what the right does in an almost worse way. See, this is exactly where the term regressive left comes from. Because they're talking, they're, they're talking down to science. They're going backwards, dude. What the fuck are you doing? But it gets much worse, so, uh, let's, uh, let's just get on with it. I, I, this is the I, I'm not worried this about is Mars. I'm yeah. about, like, why would I be you, excited about Mars? I'm barely excited about Earth. Like, I'm telling you, yes, you it's, are. no, it's not. Trump is first in polls right now. I don't care about Mars. <laughs> Science, man? I'm not excited about science. How can I be excited about science when people like something that I don't like? This is top priority here. Are you kidding me? Uh, so let's, 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 no, no, let's, let's defeat ISIS. How yes. about that? I've never wanted to see somebody tumble down a mountain so bad. All right, I don't okay, care about what. what? You want water? There you go, Bill. You got it. It's all yours. You got water. <laughs> I have nothing to say. Come on. It's important to know what's going on, you know, in the universe. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say I love you. You just Dr. Field Science. I don't know what the you just said. I think I'm going to have like a brain aneurysm. You just Dr. Phil Science? She just compared the study of the universe. She just compared astronomy, a hard science, to uh, Dr. Phil uh, telling a woman that she needs to hug her kids more. Comparing a soft science to a hard science is like comparing what you do to comedy. 
which it obviously isn't. Oh, oh, yes, that's amazing. You do. No, 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 honestly, I'm kind of with you too because I feel like Americans, we don't care what's yes, on Mars. Do. Like, we don't care about the water. If it's Caitlyn Jenner's tears, then yeah, tell me all about that water on Mars. No, I mean, we gotta move to Mars. Okay. All right, I'm gonna say something that I know is gonna get me a lot of heat, but uh, I, I, I give zero fucks at this point. Can I just say fuck Caitlyn Jenner? She killed a human being. It's like putting O.J. Simpson at a Black Lives Matter rally. Caitlyn Jenner just, I, I don't understand why people, why people care. I just, I don't get why she keeps coming up. Moving on. Yes, that's what I mean. So the NASA budget excited? used to be fully 10 times what it is today. Mm -hmm. Used to be 4% of the U.S. budget, now it's 0.4%. These discoveries made on Mars are made with uh, nine percent of point four percent. I know, but Bill, I have to interrupt. And this you changes but, the world, no, man. No, but Bill, here's the thing. It's cool. By the third, I know. No, I agree. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh shit! My audience is clapping. No, no, no. I agree. I agree. I love science. I'm not retarded. So throughout the entire interview, Bill Nye is talking about how important science is and how important it is for people to. Be excited about it. And he's talking about future generations and how imp just how important this shit is. And it's just laughed off and like e dismissed. And I get it, it's a comedy show, you gotta get the laughs. But holy shit, they've been doing that for years before this. Bill Nye has appeared on, on the Colbert Report, Neil deGrasse Tyson has done a whole bunch of comedic appearances, and they've never been dismissive of science. Now, the fact that there is a large ninth planet out there that we didn't know about before, could that explain why up until now astrology didn't make sense? It, it wouldn't need that to account for why astrology doesn't make sense. But this is the first time where I've ever seen it just so obviously condescending. Yeah, how do we get this if excited? If how do we get that excited? Wait, right you know, I, I have a question. This is how I will get excited about Mars. Okay, Can you make a sex it. tape on Mars? Can you make a sex tape on Mars? This is currently the liberal idea of not only humor, but intellect. Both of these are anti-intellectuals. These are the people who are demonizing science, free thought, and difference of opinion. And what I've noticed is severely lacking in my generation and any generation below me is what you're about to see now. Can you make a sex tape on Mars? I think so. It's 40% of the gravity. Okay. Oh. Just think you'd be not floating. So there'd that? be like this whole, like, less than half. <laughs> Wit. In this apparent Comedy Central show that is supposed to be a comedy, the funniest line came from the person everybody was berating because he wasn't cool enough. That was wit. And it's a goddamn rare thing. And I'm saying this now in particular because recently we've had this huge backlash against intellectual figures. Richard Dawkins was banned from a speaking engagement at a secular conference recently because he retweeted a joke about feminists and, uh, and extremist Islam. And when he suffered a stroke not too long ago, people were, were like, ah, oh, hope you make a recovery even though you're a complete bigot and a piece of shit. It's this, this condescending anti-intellectualism is cropping up all over the place. Stephen Fry was run off of Twitter. Stephen Fry is probably one of my favorite people on the planet because he had that great quote about how being offended means nothing. We're not seeing backlashes against people like Melissa Harris Perry who dubiously claim that Star Wars is racist because James Earl Jones is black. Remember when Cenk Uger spent an entire interview telling a woman that she should be a feminist because fuck you make me a sandwich? Nobody ran him off of social media, nobody attacked him because right now in the left we have opinion over fact Feels over reels, ideology over science, it's all, do you agree with me, good, fuck everybody else. And that's why I wanted to talk about this now. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say on the matter, uh, so if you'll excuse me, I have some party lines to not tow.